So it's here. It's finally here. The game that I've been waiting for years, I think. When did Early Access first release? I don't remember. But anyway, I'm super excited for it. This is probably going to be the stream game for the foreseeable future. Uh, at least a week or two. Unless it's shit, somehow. In which case... Uh, let's see. Uh, as Aether already said, I did put the Twitch integration in, but uh, I don't plan on using it for this playthrough. It might be something fun to do on subsequent playthroughs to let you gremlins make choices, but I don't want that to happen now. We'll see. But anyway, how you been, Sword? It's been a long while. And as far as this game goes, something I do want to touch on before we get started... Since I'm so excited for it and I don't want to be locked out of any content, I do have the sex scenes turned on and nudity turned on, so... This may be the last time you see this Twitch channel without it being on fire. I've done everything I can possibly do to make sure that this is labeled as for mature audiences, but you know... Twitch might just kick down my door and start tasing me profusely. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm super excited. We're gonna spend like the first hour in character creation. <clears throat> oh, we just went down a hole. Nice. There's that moaning. Actually, can I adjust the audio? It sounds a little bit quiet. It seems to have kept my settings since, uh... Early access, which is cool. Yeah, show genitals, cinematic nudity. I've tried making it as... Okay, so it's not enabled, so I should be fine, right? Yeah, we'll find out. So it should just be the game, pure and foremost. Oh, hey, you can actually see... I'm trying to figure out who that is. Are these just random characters marching down this stairwell in the background? I thought it was Lizella first, but now I'm second-guessing it. This is a cool opener. Or cool, like, title screen. Anyway, new game! And this is already new. So this is just the difficulty settings. Explorer, a narrative explorer, or... A narrative experience placing story before combat, balance, tactician. We'll just do balance. Maybe I'll try tactician someday, but I'm bitch made. I want to enjoy the game, my first playthrough. Oh, uh, fucking. You guys don't see this. Allow access? I'm gonna get doxxed. Got a pop up. So, all the loading screen art is different. We're gonna watch all the cutscenes. I'm sure I've seen this one before because it was the opener for early access, but here we go. Would getting rid of my face enhance the experience? Pop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. It looks like a Pikmin onion. Oh, fuck yeah, feet. There's that small-nosed bitch. I'll be honest, I didn't like how she looked at first. It's kind of growing on me. Someone clip that. <laughs> the feet? Yeah, please. Oh my god, the nails. How do you think he wipes? Probably carefully. Let me know if the audio needs to be bumped up or I need to be lowered or anything, by the way. Oh, he's so cuddly. Close your eye, maybe? Oh, okay. Forgot how that looked. My eye just got bored. Hey, I'm back. Did you enjoy my time away? Uh, tutorials help you learn about the core of, uh, I, th I think we're good. I'll turn these off. Hey, so this is the new character creator that I've been fawning over and still f afraid of. So you can choose to make a completely original character, just a custom. You can play as any of these origin characters, but you can't customize their appearance. Or you can choose to play as the Dark Urge character, which you can customize, but he does come with a background. 
You remember nothing but a pay or a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance in class can be fully customized. Oh, I can play the introduction? My rancid blood whispers to me. Kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me. Before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. His eyes are so fucking cool, by the way. So really the big decision right here is do I go for the Dark Urge backstory or just go with a regular character? And I think I'm going to go Dark Urge. I mean, we're going to completely edit this because I don't want to be a dragonborn. But. Oh my god, you can fucking flick him. Whee! Well, goddamn. A body type? Is that male and female? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you can tell this is female because of the delicate frame. Edit appearance. Can I edit my race from here? Huh. Edit character? Alright, so here we go. So we'll do the Dark Urge one. So each race, instead of getting bonuses to your... Oh, hey, Claire. How you doing? Oh, I got my phone in my pocket. One second. I usually have Twitch up on my phone as well whenever I stream. Claire, we're stepping away from Stardew Valley because I've been waiting for this game for forever. So each race, instead of having attribute points that are unique to them, they have uh, racial features. So... The fuck? Base race... Oh, that's just their speed. Where do I see the racial feature? Oh, does Dragonborn not have anything? Oh, Dragonborn gets a breath attack. So elves can move 30 feet. They're proficient in long sword, short sword, short bow. Yeah, boring. Fey answers the advantage against being charmed and put to sleep by magic. Okay. Now, um, I'm doing great. I had a workout today that kicked my ass, and I'm still recovering from it. Sorry, one second here. There we go. All right, let's just have that off to the side. Tiefling, what do they get? Hellish resistance, they take only half damage from fire. They have dark vision. Hmm. I'm probably gonna end up, what is the human thing? Human versatility, select an additional skill to be proficient in. Your carrying capacity is increased by a quarter. I'm probably just gonna go human because I don't really care about any of these other races. Get the Yankee or the frog looking fucks. God, I hate his flat face. Dwarves. Halfling. Half orc. That's a new one, actually. What's the half orc do? Savage attacks. When you land a critical hit with a melee attack weapon, you or your damage dice are tripled instead of doubled. That's actually amazing. I came for Baldur's Gate. All right, nice. And relentless endurance. Whenever you die, you get back or sent back to one hit point instead of being downed. Realistically, half work would be the most optimal race for me to play, but no. Alright, let's edit the boy. How much customization have they added? Can I change my skin tone? Skin, please? I need to be white like the plague. Body, our eyes, none of that would really do it. Alright, so you can set your pronouns, that's cool. Uh, that's just female. What is three? Oh, this is like big and burly, right? Big muscled up fuck? Yeah, okay. So scrawny little man or big muscled up badass? Under the faces? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm used to seeing this little swatch, not the, uh, was it warm tone eight? Also known as black, okay.
Do I want white or do I want pasty white? That's actually probably more in line with my skin tone. God damn, those veins. Holy shit, dude. He just eats the roids whole. Oh, sure, do that. So we got different heads. So seven heads. Where's the old one that I used to play with? Doesn't look terrible. I think that's the one I'm used to. It looks a little bit older, though. What are you? I don't like the freckles. I suppose this one wouldn't be bad, but I'm kind of used to this guy. Let's go ahead and just move on with this head, and then we'll uh, pick some out later. Scarring? Oh, I want scars. Oh, that looks horrible. What class? Oh, you know, probably fucking fighter, because I'm basic and I love just martial classes, even though I know they're not the best. I kind of want to go for a polearm sentinel fighter, which is something I've never gotten the chance to play. I've never gotten to play any type of D&D. &D. This is the closest I'll ever get to being able to play actual D&D. &D. I'll do no scars for now. Maturity? I'm so mature. Huh. His face didn't really change much, did it? No freckles, please. Huh. Genitals. Penis B. Penis C. Penis D. How many penis? Vulva. All right. Okay. Huh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, one second. All right. Oh, it's just pubic hair. It just changes pubic hair. <laughs> wow, they actually, they also grafted a vagina. Most games are cowards when it comes to that. Uh, fucking. Why is penis different? Oh, okay, whatever. Huh. I'm putting way too much thought in this. Let's go with default. Default is fine. Put the clothes back on. I'm sure that'll come up in the game because I have nudity on, but, you know. We made a barbarian with a chain in my last campaign. We called him Trip Hazard. <laughs> That's awesome. I've always wanted to play D&D. &D. Well, this is my face. What body art can I get? Oh, this is new. Hmm. Oh, that's actually awesome. No way I hate the face tattoos in most games. Oh, I hate earwigs. No, leave it alone. Get away from me. Nice chin. I look like a superhero with this. I did warn you guys that this was going to be the next, like, half an hour. Probably longer. This is what you signed up for. The only one I remotely like is actually this one, but I'm not going to go for it. Bro is a member of KISS. <laughs> yeah, he's part of the KISS army. <laughs> Piercing style? Oh. Where are the gauges at? I want to be able to insert a nice. penis in my ear hole. Hey, Reaper! I'm definitely not here. You appear to be here. What? Oh, hey, Septum. Minotaur ring. That's all I'm going to call that from now on. Dude, there's shitloads. Okay. Well, now they're gone. Let me go ahead and get hair taken care of. Oh my god. They've added hair. I am perplexed. Hair color. Give me... What did I use before? Fucking show me in blonde at first, then we'll move on from there. I don't want it that far away, damn it. Oop. Uh, well, there's your elven. Oh my god, the sideburns. Oh no. Oh no. 
It's okay, guys. They only had like seven years of early access to get that down. Not only do you have the faux hawk, you also have the man bun. The faux hawk goes into the man bun. Kakarot. <laughs> Schizophrenia born. And when you wear a helmet most of the time. Well, you can disable if the helmet's uh, up here visually. Oh, God. I look like a hipster that works out a lot. A lot of these look like hipsters that work out a lot. Well, that's just feminine. And that's just my hair in real life. Who do I look like? We still gonna rock the undercut? We might end up still rocking the undercut because I do like it. Is that. It's called a rapscallion? I look like Spartacus. Oh no, this is my hair in real life. Yep, there it is. That's alarmingly accurate. Fuck you. Eh, too suave. Too curly. Two, two years from now. I think I'm just gonna end up rocking the undercut. I got really attached to that. I could rock the white man cornrows, though. They call me Beethoven. Alright, where was it? Real question is, do I want to be this big? Don't know. Oh, highlights. Uh, blood red because I'm edgy. Oh, uh, it changed nothing? Okay. Oh, highlight intensity. I do have the dark urge. <laughs> All right, take that off. Ah, uh, confirm, okay. Why would you customize your eyes before you get down to hair? What? Let's do green. Oh, all eye colors, please. <laughs> I'll be honest, I love like the non-traditional eye colors that you can do. That was bloodshot for a second. We'll just make him normal. I know, I'm boring. I'm playing fighter after all. You know what you got yourselves into. Don't need any makeup. Facial hair. I love him. <laughs> I mean, I need some, right? Something? This is what I was rocking before. Oh, I can have it without the chin strap. Hmm. This doesn't look bad to me. Okay, so what do I do now? Edit character? Okay. So it's either that. Oh my god, it changed it? Oh. Okay. Don't know if I want to be this huge. I like the muscles, I just wish I wasn't, you know, eight feet tall. Class. Come on, fighter. I like the movement. Or like a little like uh, stance he got into. Nice touch. So you can multi or you can like respec and multi class at any point in the game. Uh, so it's not too big of a deal what you start off with. Like I said, I want to be a polearm fighter. So that's a strength based fighter. Because I always thought I've always heard that it's a powerful combo, and I wanted to try it out for myself. If it sucks, I might shift into anything else like a barbarian. Uh, just go back and change it. Details? Oh. Yeah, I'm good with every set of weapons and every armor. Fighting style. I imagine great weapon fighting is going to be the way, because I'm going to use two-handed weapons. When you roll a one or two on a damage die for an attack with a two-handed melee weapon, that die is re-rolled once. Yeah, it's going to be like a traditional fighter. I don't like how big he is. But I have to go and do all that over again if I want to make him smaller. He is so huge! He's like cartoonishly huge. <laughs> Fuck. Background, haunted one. Oh, can I not change this? 
A wicked moment person or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever the, or your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Huh. Oh, that's right, I have no charisma. So I can't change this because of my back, or because of my uh, origin? Is that right? If I do custom. Okay, it didn't change everything, great. Alright, so now, okay. Oh, that actually might be a big deal then. Hmm. I normally go soldier. Did the audio just cut out for anyone? Is that me? One second. I think my audio is doing the weird thing again where it's like muted in my ears. Or not muted, but like slightly deafened. Did they add any of these? Hulk Hero, Artisan Guild, Outlander, Urchin. I don't know if I want to go Dark Urge now. Because it locks me into a back row. Oh, okay. Alright, and I've lost all my shit. Great, awesome, fucking goddammit. Well, at least we'll be faster this time. Why did it do it the second time, but not the first? Great weapon. Ah, uh, soldier background is pretty efficient for me. Here's my chance to back up. Oh, no, okay, he's still large. I think we'll just make him at regular human size, as boring as that is. So we're gonna have to redo this all anyway. And that, uh, maybe not so sickly. Actually, sickly just looks right now. Huh. Okay, confirm. Is that the right face? I guess it is. Alright, none of that shit. Oh, that's fine. Which one did I give me? We go default penis, it doesn't matter. Not like I'm gonna have sex this playthrough or anything. Green. No eyeshadow. That one. That one. Facial hair. Okay. Edit character. Then my abilities. Okay, so you can do uh, one plus two, or plus two and one plus one. And this actually seems like an okay align or amount. Oh, but wisdom or intelligence is a dump stat. Is that all I can do? 17 and 15. Hmm. I could just make those two even. So they'll get plus zero on most rolls. One second, my ears are just fucking with me now. No, it's not gonna work if I do that shit. There we go, it's fixed. Alright, skill proficiencies. I don't really want acrobatics, do I? Hmm. Perception is great to have. So we'll keep that. Intimidation is good. Athletics is going to be an amazing stat for me. Which, that's like any strength check. Insight wouldn't be bad to have. Wait, what is this? What? Is that my, like, human? Or is this my human thing? What? What is this? What do you mean? Oh, I guess it is. So we have Intimidation Athletics just because of who we are. Do I want Persuasion as well? Oh, so these are what I can choose from, right? Because I'm a fighter? And then I have one extra one that I can allocate anywhere? Because I'm a human? We'll use that for insight. Do we have perception? Yeah, we do have perception, okay. Insight and perception are good. Hmm. Oh, a bonus to stealth wouldn't be bad. But that means we're not gonna be persuasive at all, which would suck. We do have Intimidation. Hmm. 
What if instead of inside I went down to that? Fuck. Decisions. I hate them. God, I would really love to have... Yeah, you know, we'll just do uh, Persuasion. It'll go just balance things out. Stealth, or stealth already has a plus two because of my dex. Okay. Confirm that. So Athletics, Insight, Perception, Intimidation, and Persuasion. So it'll be a good talker, at least. I mean, not really great because, you know, it's only a plus two and not a plus fucking five, but... Yeah, that's fine. Now, if I switch back over here... Hmm... This looks more right, but god damn it. I can't do it. I don't want to be a foot taller than everyone. I just want to be shredded. Okay. I guess I proceed. Terrified of commitment. Challenge, wisdom, wisdom. Yep, alright, proceed. Oh, name. Borneus! Not the extra eye, though. Please put the S down. Proceed. Oh, I, I need a guardian. Alright, gotta pick a waifu. Alright. Yep, that sounds about right. Love she-devils. Big mommy, maybe? Wee! Oh, shit. Hold on. Wee! <laughs> Alright, bring her back down. Uh, yeah, that works. Why not? I like red. What face? I don't know how significant this person's gonna be. I never ran into them in the early access, but then again, I never used the tadpole that much. That face is fine. Uh, yeah. what does this look like on them? Oh, it makes them Caucasian. A fate worse than death. Oh, pretty. Eyes. Oh, that's fine. Demonic red is good. Hair. These are the female. Oh, these are the same hairs. Okay. Uh, bonk. It looks kind of cute. I like that more though. I just realized I'm act. You guys are actually watching me just build a waifu right in front of you right now. That's terrifying. Hey, these are my tastes, guys. <laughs> Uh, fuck it, the red kind of looks good, doesn't it? Or is it too much red? I like the red. Confirm. Facial hair? There we go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I love it so much. Judging your every move right now? Yeah. So that's your kink! Oh, good, you have this now instead of having to sort through all the fucking horns. How horny do we make her? I kind of like the ram horns. Before, I'd always do this. Huh. Stumpy. I oh, will go ram horns, why not? She's not wearing a purple dress anymore. She has really weird knee pads, though. Oh, my God. I guess that's the game. Here we go. Hey, Squidward. I'm Squidward. I'm Squidward. I'm Squidward. 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 Oh, this whole game is really the quest to not become Squidward, now that I think about it. Imagine getting hentied by that fuck. You'd be sore for at least a week. <laughs> yeah, get higher up. That's the best call when a giant ship is coming towards you. 
Yep, idiot. Oh, the Wilhelm screen. <laughs> I wish they would make movies like this, goddamn. Sorry, what? I blacked out. What happened? Literal hell. So I didn't change anything with the opening cinematic, but I didn't really expect them to, considering how great it was to begin with. Eat your heart out, Diablo 4. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's one of those launches. Oh god, it's one of those launches. Yep, there's my feet. Alright, I'm back up now. I was just fucking planking horizontally out of the goddamn thing. Okay, all right. Let's go touch the nursery. This is the pool that thing came oh, from. Oh, fuck. Parasite now writhing behind your eye. Uh, yeah, let's investigate. I'm smart enough for this. Oh, I also turned off the karmic dice. So every roll is truly random. Well, I succeeded. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Uh, bye. I'm just gonna leave. At the ready. Oh, can I? Oh, search him. Loot. Amethyst. Hell yeah. Dead. Good. Do I have a sword? I do. Okay, I have a long sword. All right, and I actually can use it. It's versatile, isn't it? Yes, it is versatile, so I can use it with two hands. The lighting looks better. 
Maybe that's just my mind playing tricks on me. Oh, what are you? No, loot the goblin. Yeah, three gold already ahead. Hell yeah. Brain jar, huh? Oh, you can get right up on it. That's neat. What are you? Oh, it's a chair. I am the captain now. All right. I want to see what they changed. I should speak up. Hey, Brainy. That looks like an uncomfortable chair to sit in. Oh. Ugh. See, I'm gonna be ripped like that, dude. Maybe even a little bit more. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Uh, who am I talking to? Man or brain? Newborn. Born new from this house. No, I'm born. What do you mean? A creature like this, one that is more brain than person. Uh, you sound afraid. Why? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Alright, time to fist a brain. Break the skull. Plus three or dexterity plus two. Uh, I guess we'll just break the skull. Hell yeah. So I got a plus three to this roll. And we are gonna get it. Just barely, but we got it. how I fix my computer. I don't like how the eye moves. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Sure, go for it. Well, let's thumb the bastard. Mutilate the brain. Oh, it's a hard one. Uh. Ooh. Hopefully he doesn't notice. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Eh? It's like clipping through my fingers a little bit. Alright, be gone, little guy. Did it get bigger on the ground? I think it did. Uh. Screech! Uh, bye. Where the fuck are you going? I think I just made an ally. Or a new enemy. Probably an enemy considering the fact that I tried mutilating it and it didn't work. We got our 12 health. I like that new portrait. What did that say? Chat? Oh, chasm. <laughs> chasm. Oh. Hi, lady. I wouldn't recommend that. Nice fucking anime jump. Holy shit. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing. A silver sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. No, I'm born. Edith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. All right, sure. Let's go, crazy lady. Uh. We need to figure out where we are. Who are you? Let's go with that. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Uh, we need to figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. All right. First, Ooh. we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. 
We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Uh, bye? Are we straight up fighting immediately? We don't have to walk towards him? That's a cool intro. Oh, my initiative was three, but somehow it was higher? What? Why is my sword not in my hands, actually? There we go. Oh, this is a different battleground. Uh, there's only three of them. I got a 95% chance to hit, and my weapon deals 4 to 13 damage. Fuck him up! Gotcha, bitch. So, second wind has a new icon, and there's Pommel Strike. Um, guessing I'll just move right over here. Also, the icons up here are a lot easier to read. That's good. That's it for my turn. Uh, she can take this one down. Good kill, champ. Over this little bastard doesn't have an AoE. Aha! Fucker! My turn to secure the kill. Fuck. Really? I rolled a natural one on like the third roll of the game? Okay. Alright, good kill, bitch. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now. Yep, that's my nickname in high school. Surprisingly adequate. With all this shit. How I make my living is in here. Alright, so let's see here real quick. Oh, they also updated like the inventory system, right? Cool. You have weapon proficiency with spears, pikes, halberds, and glaives, and armor proficiency with light armor and shields. Human versatility. Attack armor. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this? Alchemy pouch? Oh, okay. These are just like sub menus. Yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead and equip that in my offhand, just if I ever need to use a range attack. I don't have anything to throw yet. Actually, is this axe throwable? Yes. So we have something at least. I don't need to heal. This whole ship is different. Can do. Oh, this is really valuable. Whatever. Wait, was that dagger throwable? Short sword, no. Search him as well. <clears throat> the lighting looks substantially different to me. I'm not sure if it's just me, though. Also, switch to that, please. Wait, does that literally say sphincter? It says sphinx or sphincter. Nice. Cool. Enter the sphincter. Read it. Failed. Alright, I suck. Okay, let's go talk to Shadow Art. Thunk. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch, I might open the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, continue? Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Nah, we're gonna help her. Uh, let's go this way. This is where the key is in the... Uh, other game? Dark Mind? I don't know what that means. Enter the sphincter. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, and they're pissed. All right, it's dashing. That's fine with me. All right, and wallop. Hmm. Maybe the other one will dash too. All right, kill him. Where do you go, champ? How far away is that one? We should be good to let it just run up. Us. Oh, is that? 
Us was the name of the little, what is this called? Little intellect of our that you uh, allied with if you pass the check. I can't fucking swing at him. I can't swing because he's on a corpse. Uh, up there it was. Magic pixel. Kill him. Nice. Does us have anything? Us does not. So if you fail to kill him, or if you fail to make him your ally, and he's pissed off at you, he joins that fight, apparently. How many hosts are these gay infected? Uh, go there. Slave mind? What? That, we need that, and that's fine. For what? What's this do? Um. Yeah, why did I take that? A humanoid brain alive and in perfect condition, suspended in er, er, cerebral spinal fluid? Well, we got a brain in the jar. Neat. I'll take that. Let's go press this button. Uh, place your hand on the As console, you place sure. Your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Ooh. Hey, walls. Sounds like a graveyard keeper thing to do, or keeper thing to do. Well, we're kind of in a graveyard right now. One that's flying above the hells. Oh, he's Change naked. Jar. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Wait, you mean you don't know how they change? Your people's whole existence is based off killing these guys. Uh, huh. That looks okay. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Oh my god, he's veiny. Alright, bye, land prey. Also, hell, James Bourne. My first name is not James. I don't know if you're making a joke or if you're that is what you were trying to, uh, call me. It's like they're the Belmonts, just more stupid. Alright, what's in here? Hey, an onyx. Oh, I used the gold key. Yeah, we got 13 gold. Uh, do I take another brain? Ooh, a manuscript? Is this a, like, screenplay? Appear in your mind. A brain, a good Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. You're now James Bourne? I refuse. Close. First name's Jacob, champ. I started the conversation, okay. The console appears dormant. There's a socket in the console shaped like the rune you found. Insert it. Yeah, go for it. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain? Or transform her like that other unfortunate? Uh. Also, Claire says, can't have too many brains is what I always say. <laughs> Maybe we'll pick up another brain. Oh, you know, let's try and take a closer look at the powered up console. Maybe we'll get it. Just maybe. Fuck. Well, it's either leave her to die or do this, so we're gonna go for it. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod. Like what happened before. Leave her to die? I'm gonna try and save her. I got brain worms. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I both love and hate how this uh, voice actress says authority. All right, will the pod open? What if I fail? It's fine. Born already has brain rot. Well, yeah, I have to read your guys' messages over and over. The biomechanical brain process your command and yield to it takes a toll after a, a while runs across your mind you feel sated what happens if you fail does it just not go through or does she die also a face plant hey shadow heart <laughs> all 
Nice striped legs. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Well, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. So that means he's immune from any mental illness. And if you're worried about failing, just save scum until you save them. I mean, I could do that. I'm going to try and keep it honest, though. Failure is apparently a part of this game, uh, where stories can take different turns and be extra interesting with failure. Uh, all right, then let's go. I'm Borneus. One moment. I'm covered in viscera. The blood, not the WWE wrestler. What was that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough right. of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. Guys, just staring She's at us right. in the background. Lead on. Where am I at? Would you say that to play Baldur's Gate 3, you need to play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? Uh, I've never played any of the Baldur's Gate games. I know just as much about this story as you do, if you haven't played either of them. I did play a lot of the early access, but that was my first entering period. So I don't think you need it. Cerebral Aquarium? Huh. Brain. Shrubs. Lord, I feel better. We are nearing the this story should be self-contained. Do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. Smoke the brain shrubs. <laughs> and yeah, I'm enjoying the game, but again, I'm like, I'm 54 minutes into it, uh, and like the first half an hour was just me creating my character. Uh. I played through the early access over and over again. There's so like the first ten hours are gonna be pretty familiar to me. This guy's gonna get munched. He got munched. Well, at least he had a last meal. Here we go. Alright. Reach transponder before the nautiloid crashes in 15 turns. Oh. Oh no. Okay, that's different. Well, there's actually a time limit now. There wasn't before. It used to be if you can manage to kill this guy, you can steal his sword. So I'm gonna make an attempt, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. And also, yes, I am that type of person. How I look in a game is the most important aspect. The wrong Aha! Bitch. Which sword? This guy's flaming sword. Or are you talking about his cock? As far as I'm aware, you can't take his cock. Although with this game, you can customize your cock. Not really, you can customize your pubic hair. Which is shitty. You have an advantage on this? Oh, high defense? What? 80% chance to incinerate this bastard. Go for it. Eh. Oh, you suck. Aha! Like Cyberpunk 2077 all over again? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, we'll have her take a shot with her bow. Kill it. Good enough. All right, switch her back to our sword. We're gonna try and kill this guy, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work. On my way. All right, let me try the throwing action. Let's grab our throwing axe. Yeet! Damn it. I can pick that back up, though. All right, end turn. Uh, shadow heart, guiding bolts. Oh, she doesn't have advantage anymore. Why? Hmm. 
They even have someone talking in your head, everyone around you, and think you're insane, also like Shadow of War. Has anyone talked to me? Oh, well, yeah, the narrator. But that's not really like a person in the game, or seen as a person in the narrative of the game. I also missed. Shadowheart has yet to nail a shot. We are not ignoring the devil, he has good shit. Astral knowledge, gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability? What? Oh, until long rest. Huh. Hit him! Yeah! Three damage, we're doing it! Uh, that would be because I have drops enabled, uh, walls. By watching me, you can earn shit in this game. <laughs> the hell you mean ignore the devil? We don't have to kill him, we can just get to the ship and escape. Pommel strike! Fuck. You high defense having bastard? Oh, wait, she has... Inflict wounds already. Not enough movement, okay. Well, we're gonna inflict wounds next turn. We're gonna try this now. Wait, this is a cantrip, isn't it? Oh, she doesn't have two cantrips anymore? Damn it. Alright, use this cantrip. Too much work. I've spent too much time and effort trying to kill the devil. Wait, how many turns do I have left? It says right over here, 13. He just focuses the Mind Flare. But the Mind Flare is also the one that deals the most damage to him since we're all level 1. Good. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Pierce. Oh, shot. That's the bone arrow. Alright, just it's just hit him until he dies. Uh, 40% chance for this. I'm worried about her subsequent turns because... Ah, fuck, I get in there, champ. Hate! Critical miss, that's good. Alright, we're all just gonna wail on him. Missed. Come on, at some point I gotta land one of these 40% chance. I hate this game already. Waylay! Fucking god damn it. Mind Flare, please do your job. Oh, there's more behind me now. Good. Grand. He is dying. I might die with him, but he is dying. Fucking Christ. Statistical anomaly right now, by the way. Concussive smash! Get concussed! <clears throat> Hi, guys! How much health does he have left? 35. <clears throat> okay. Please die? Maybe I should turn Karmic Dice back on. Hey! Three damage! We're doing it! It's like XCOM percent chance, 90% to hit, and it misses, yeah. I agree. Well, XCOM actually is coded on the lower levels to, uh, not be completely accurate. At least those guys don't have a lot of movement. Oh, but they're getting in fighting range now. Terrifying. I just want to take this guy's sword. Bonk him! Hey, he got bonked! I played it on Easyborn. I'm not sure exactly what the math was in XCOM, but, you know, this should be accurate unless they're lying to me as well. Alright, please. Mind Flare, I need you to deal damage. Oh my god, they are so cold. Oh, fuck! Okay. We're in trouble now. Well, we're kind of committed. Huh. I'm sure autosave is on. Uh. Eh. Wow, it didn't really push him far, did it? Kill him! 
17. He's so close to dead. Okay, let me get behind him. All right, all right, all right. Don't fuck it up. Eh. Okay, he's got five health left. Oh, Sacred Fan, that is the cantrip. God damn it. Move. Why can't I move you? Oh, I can't move her yet because she's not in the party. 40% is better than 30%. Go for it. Bitch. Hey, don't kill her. Oh, only seven. Okay. Still only seven. Oh, wait. Only seven. That's like all of her health in this fucking level. Alright, she's back up. Please kill him! Come on, Mind Flayer! No! Shit. Damn it! Drink the potion. Kill him! Damn it! Eight. Okay, she's down. Oh my god, they killed the Mind Flayer. This was a mistake. Alright, well. Fuck you! Damn it. I'm gonna die out the gate. <laughs> That's awesome. Bonus action. <sighs> How many 40% chances can you miss? Oh, it's over. Why me, asshole? I haven't done anything to you. Don't hit me. I mean, even if I kill him at this point, it's bad. Might as well just reload. It's just every 40% chance you miss. If this is worth the cost. It's not worth the cost, my dude. This was a mistake. What you're witnessing is a mistake. Is it actually 40%? All right, she's dead. Aha! Fuck. Kill him! I refuse to believe it's 40%. All right, load game. <laughs> Damn it! It's 5%, I'm betting it now. Yeah, it's some bullshit number. Holy fuck. I'm beginning to see why karmic, or karmic dice were enabled by default. Because fuck that. Just keep trying to kill him. Yeah, spend the next like hour on the stream here. Alright, I can at least skip this cutscene now. Or not. Space. There we go. Hey, maybe I'll hit something again. Alright. Oh, he can hit something. That's neat. Hey, Shadow Heart, you wanna just fucking light that bastard up? I want to scream. I didn't hit shit. No, I missed both. <laughs> the sword is worth it. The sword might be worth it. At least he missed two. This is your end. All right, well, we got that one. My Zell's at least good at the game. The devil has a 90% chance that he missed me quite a bit, actually. My AC isn't bad. I can't even see what it is right now. Kill him! I hit him. It's almost good enough. Okay, we'll go over here. This guy needs to die now. 60% chance there, 75 there. Go for it. I just used Guiding Bolt, didn't I? Idiot. Alright. Shout out to the Lidl's going on in chat. Everything misses and I hate it. Well, at least they missed too. All right, can I reach that guy? Cannot actually, great. Grand. Yippee! Fuck it, let's do it. Ah, no, we shouldn't waste the throw on that. Uh, let's see here. 
What's the chance over here? 40% chance or 95? Fuck it, I want to tomahawk something. Tomahawk? Tomahawk. There we go, nine. Oh wow, he's freaking out. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. So the game is glitchy. <laughs> also, yeah, hello, Tobin. And there's Tobin Bot. Truly the worst of the bots that we have. Hey! Guiding Bolt hits! If it did that last time, we'd have been fine. I have advantage? Oh, because of Guiding Bolt. Oh my god, six damage! Can you imagine? Oh, the Guiding Bolt is gone now. Oh, we've already had one miss at 95% chance. Like the third attack of the game missed, and it was 95% chance. Alright, put me here. Shut the fuck up, lady. We're fighting this guy. I've wasted too much time. Alright, I'm not leaving this area until we kill the devil. That's BS. It's a one in or it's a one in twenty chance, so it's not impossible. Every time you roll a D20, it's a five percent chance that you get a one. Ah, we're hitting them! Ah! Damage! Well, you know, you can't win them all. Kia! Damn it. Die! Damn it. Damn it. Alright, so we missed our last three 40% chances. Oh, those assholes are here now. <laughs> Just to let the devil survive. Okay, kill him. Is the game coded to fuck me? Damn it. Alright, it's the last five 40% chances I've missed. What just happened? Oh, that guy's far away, so it just flashed over to him. What is the math on that? God damn. Four out of ten times five. Oh shit, how do I do this? How do I want to do this? Put her right there. Cool, sweet one damage. Math, what math? I just want to know the odds. Okay. The mind flayer's almost dead, actually. Oh, he's not even close to dead. Oh, I failed. Great. Really, I need the Mind Flayer to get good RNG. Uh, it gets nice if I do damage, but not necessary. Alright, I think we gotta move on. Hurry before they strike. Alright, we gotta kill these guys now. Uh, is actually the Fire Blast more accurate? It is. Okay. And it deals more damage. Well, it would deal more damage. I will ascend. Okay, uh, give that man a hearty shove. Okay, you failed. Go ahead and hit him again. Alright, you missed. That whole turn was just disappointing. Hey, maybe- okay, there's the fly. Don't hit her, though. Oh, you hit her. Okay. Alright. Will I trigger an attack of opportunity if I run away? It doesn't look like it will, actually. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's go ahead and do a throw. Hey, I found the scimitar on the ground. You want it? Yeet! That's the second 95% chance to hit that we missed. Hey, don't fly, though. Dicks. Hey, do you think you can help? Where is it? Come on up. 
All right, she's back up at least. Push! Oh my god, really? All righty then. Second wind. Yeah, if she tries to run, she'll get hit with an attack of opportunity from both of them. She can't even attack, so that's the end of her turn. Uh, killing the devil in one shot should be impossible. Unless there's a glitch. Without using an exploit, it should be impossible. Mathematically. There's no way you can deal that much damage. 150 damage in one turn at level one is not feasible. Aha, you missed, asshole. All right. It wouldn't miss twice in a row, would it? I am failing all of my athletics checks. It's the one thing I'm good at. What do you mean? Yet they always have a way. I'm, the math isn't there unless there's an exploit. Like, there might be an exploit because, you know, the game is new, but it shouldn't be uh, possible to do that. Okay, well, that's another one dead at least. And turn. Oh, can I shove him? 65% chance. Alright, failed again. Oh, I could just disengage, couldn't I? Oh. I could have just disengaged, idiot. All right, bye. Ow! Man, that mind player's gonna have a rough time, isn't he? Oh, don't chase her down, she's already hurt. Die. Oh, I actually got him. All right, so we survived for this turn and we're good to go. I'm even gonna do this just in case. There's always an exploit. Yeah, I agree with you. Again, if there's an exploit, they can do it. There's no natural way to do it, though. The math is not there for the game to uh, allow that to happen. Hi, friend. Oh, thank God. Uh, let's go with disengage again. Flee! You keep saying yet, Walls. I have no idea what you mean. Taking position. Oh, fuck. The devil's gonna get one more shot. Hey, don't hurt us, though. Fucker. Hmm. I don't know if she dies if I go ahead and leave. I honestly don't know. Problem is, I don't want these other two guys to get an attack off. Real quick, let's save. I don't want her to be dead just because I was being an asshole. It seems like they made killing that general much more difficult. Walls, I agree with you that if they change the game, it'll work. But again, naturally, it's impossible. If they change the game or something is wrong with the game as intended, it'll work. Ah, I guess we gotta go. Fuck, I just don't want her to die. Oh, she lost the condition down. Alright. Toasty. Wee! Ah, oh, it was fun until I hit the wall. Maybe the undercut will save me.
God, do you remember that time I missed like a 40% chance literally seven times in a row? Is that a four out of... God damn, how's the math work? I think it means it's four out of 70. What's that reduced to? Two out of 35. Not impossible, not plausible either. Ah, oh, tiefling. Oh, the pop, oh, the poppin'. Oh, the poppin' so bad. Oh, God. Oh, that lady's smiling about it. She's getting slightly more detailed as the game rolls on. I know this is stuff that they'll make better, so I'm not upset by it, but it's just, it's bad. I'm rolling on nothing. Oh, my God, it's bad. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? You remember the time you died? Oh, okay, bye. And I've saved. God has different plans for me. Thanks, Jesus. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Uh, check yourself for injuries, orient yourself, where did you land? Ah, uh, check myself Other for injuries. Other infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so we're not leveled up yet. Almost level 2. I'm curious to see what the new level up uh, system looks like since you can multi-class. Mangled Fisher. Alright, let's go get Shadow Heart. She's still in the same spot. Shake her violently. Oh, there we go. Ah, we'll just wake her. We don't need that artifact. Hey, do you have a broken neck? You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Doesn't matter, we made it. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First yeah, literal first, hell. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. But One more thing. importantly, let's get schmoovin'. Before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too Aww, easy for she to approves. run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Cool. Lead the way. All right, let's start scavenging the wreckage for supplies. Oh, I can actually adjust her shit now, right? No, apparently not. Can't move it. Huh. Strange, can I move mine? Interesting times. I can't move mine either. Why the fuck not, actually? Inventory? I just want to change where it's located at custom? 
Drag action spells and I freak. Okay, I don't care about that. I can't move shit around. Huh. On my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. There are tongs inside that barrel. I don't need so I'll go sterile. Something good here, I hope. What you got for me? Anything of use? Bucket of fish. Oh, the map looks different. Cool. Camp supplies, I'll take it. Fish head for one. I mean, I'll take it. Maybe I'll get an odd number or something at some point. Fresh water. There must be a settlement nearby. Oh, I never changed my voice. Whoopsies. Grab that, grab that. Alright, we got a waypoint. Mine. Okay. Oh, they're little bastards. Oh, can I? What the fuck do you mean? Uh, move up. Move up a little bit. There you go. Disadvantage? Ah, sure, hit him. Aha, bitch! Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Actually, can I shoot at him again? Too far and path is interrupted. Okay. Put me right there, maybe. Oh, I don't have my action? Oh, okay. Because of the surprise attack. Alright, well, I'll wait right here. End turn! I like the icons for telling me what actions they're using, though. This one should dash as well. Okay, Shadow Heart's turn. 80, 80, okay. Light him up! Hey, level up as well. She's good. My turn. Max damage, please! Hey, perfect. Alright, where is this one at? Oh, he's far off, okay. And... I'm gonna need access to Action Surge now. That's huge. Booyakasha! Critical miss. Quite well. All right. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. And let's level. Or let's watch the loading screen. There it goes. So right now, maybe I have to gain access to being able to multi-class. Because right now I'm just going into... Uh, Fighter level 2. I don't have a choice. Okay. Shadowheart's level up should be more interesting because I actually have to pick spells for her. Or not. Turn undead. Pray to turn all undead creatures... Or to turn all undead that can see you. What? What does that mean? Turn them, like, turn them into zombies? Oh, here we go. Alright, we don't need... Actually, a lot of these are okay. Healing word's good. Shield of Faith I'm not gonna use. I want Bless, just as an option. And then this seems kind of fine. I like this. Okay, except... Why can I not move this stuff? There we go, okay. Put that there. I would prefer to have my swords down on this level. Or some of my sword skills on that level. And then we can unlock hers as well. Because I want her cantrips over on her original bar. Healing in the back. Damage dealing spells right there. Bless up top. Okay, that makes sense to me. Never and that's all that matters. What's inside? What we got? 
Basic poison? All mine. I'll sell it. Uh, nothing worth any money. This guy used to have a rapier on him, which was huge for a dexterity build. Hey, he still does. We'll take it. I'll take the kiwi. Actually, we'll take everything. Need to find a way forward. Pretty. Alright. Is uh, the one vampire fuck still here? Hey, buddy. I need a quick word. Astorian. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Sure. Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? And... It's a little pig. Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. One more step, and I'll make you eat that knife. You could try, but first you'll tell me what you know. I saw you on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle. Ah! Wow. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? Uh, the Mind Flayer's worm, it connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Glad to see we're all cut up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian, introduce yourself. You're a Baldurian too? Yeah, sure. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Yeah, I'm so, not a posh asshole like you. Do you know anything about these worms? Uh, yeah, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh, control it, we need to get rid of it. You should travel with me, our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. Well, I know that I don't really want him as a party member right now. I don't think they're going to change the locations of Lizelle and Gale, so I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. Sure. And I hate to turn down an invitation. Oh, that exercise kicked my ass earlier. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. All right, bye, dude. Shadowheart, Lizelle, and Gale would be a nice combination. A mind flayer. That's right, I used to run all the time. That thing you approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. It's like pointy head shape makes me uncomfortable. It's like a weird dick-esque shape. Like, these are the balls here. That's the, uh, shaft, or whatever. Uh, no. You should be yes, furious, shouldn't you? you? feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Intelligence, concentrate on the thoughts. Well, using an intelligence check would be miserable for me, so take advantage of the lapse and the break it. The monster lies exhausted, 
Defeated, its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Fuck you! Did you like that, Shadow Heart? Am I a big strong man now? Monster. Death is too good for it. Okay. They sure are. Alright, throwing axe. Oh, is this throwing? No, it would not be throwing. It's finesse, though. It's a scimitar. Camp supplies, and we're off. Another waypoint. What's going on with that room? Uh. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. I'll touch it. I'm not bitch made. Owie. I should have touched that. A hand? Anyone? Uh. Okay, strength. Grab the hand and pull. Who are you? Slap the hand. It's far too dangerous. Leave him to his fate. Nah, we'll try it. I can tell that's Gale. Hey, and Shadow Heart's gonna help me. Hey, perfect. I'm so strong. That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. Woo! His earrings don't obey gravity. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. <laughs> no apologies needed. You alright? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. I was, yes. Never mind the Nautiloid. How'd you get stuck in a stone? Don't trust this man. Draw your weapon. Uh, yes, I was. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repel repelliently myself? I don't even think I can say that in real life. Uh, sure, I'll say it in the game, though. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite... Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance. Oh, they made him less of an asshole in his introduction. Surgeon. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Fighter, my hands are better suited to less delicate pursuits. I can offer you a swift end, but I can't cure you. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna go for it. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sure, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared <clears throat> is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. All right, so far, Back both people in the party have thanked kindness, me. I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, let's go. Oh, Gale leveled up now. All right, level up is full. Long ass loading screen. All right, level up. New subclass, evocation, all that shit, gain spell slots. Holy fuck. 
Oh. Oh, I can make him a necromancer? <laughs> you walk to the Valley of the Shadow of Death and make lots of friends there. Learning necromancy spells from the scrolls only call... Oh, okay. I don't know which one's the best one. There were only two in the previous game. Conjuration? Summoning creatures and objects. Oh, gross. Wards, banish and nullifies magic. Suitable for those who wish to defend themselves and others. I don't give a shit about that. Evocation? Elemental energy into powerful attacks and enchantments. Those who specialize in this school are known as evokers. Learning evocation spell. Yeah, I don't know that shit. Hmm. Divination. Fuck illusion. God, I have no idea which is good, actually. What about necromancy? I mean, does it do anything else other than... Hmm. Necromancy is by far the coolest. I don't know which is the best wizard class. I've never played a wizard before. Other than in this game. Evocation sounds like I'll eventually get to cast Fireball. Why not? Magic Missile is good. Ice Knife? Is it a chance? To, it's a deck save, okay. On Miz, the Shard of Ice still explodes, okay. False life is pointless. I wouldn't mind a better damage dealer. Hmm. Now, is this from... No, Ice Knife is still available here. Yeah, okay. I... I, I guess evocation. We'll do that in Ice Knife, because Ice Knife just sounds cool. Get rid of that. Get rid of Mage Armor. Witch Bolt is pointless. Sleep. I, I never really found a good use for sleep, but we'll keep it on, I guess. Uh, and I guess we'll put Grease back on for now. Okay. We can always go back and change what we have. Eventually, whenever I find the guy. Okay, let's see if Lizelle's in her same spot. Oh, torn net trap. Broke? Must have been here a while. All right, Demaeus. Hi, guys. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Uh, let's see. Do I have persuasion or... Oh, I do have persuasion, but that means I have to end up killing the tieflings. Rather demanding of you woman in your position, why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Let's try this. I think we're just gonna go for the straight deception and pray. Difficulty class of 10, we could fuck this up. Alright, we're good. Uh, didn't He's you? right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Oh, I'm blocking the who approves, that's unfortunate. A blast I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Uh, real quick. Let me try moving down here. Just put me, like, right there. That should be good. Persuasion. I'm in dire need of healing. Where's the camp? I might get this one, even if I get two. Alright. If you get a natural one, it still fails outright, though. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. Nice. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. 
Nymessa, come. Was she a dog or something? Enough. Show some respect, Get asshole. Me down. Uh, say please. Never. Okay, so that's uh, appearing now. Good. All right. Well, let me get closer. Listen. Enough. Hear Get me down. As you say. And pop. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds. A shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Uh, simple thank you wouldn't go miss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. God, you're rude. Alright, we journey together. Let's find you this crash. made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You have a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The we are such a good camp. team. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Okay, but first we're going to do something completely different after we level you up. She shouldn't have anything special linked to her, it's just her getting uh, action surge. Alright, accept. Alright, off we go. Why am I glowing blue? Oh, because of the guidance, gotcha. Hey, what's up, little man? You! Not another step, hear me? Why's your face like that? Got company up here. What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Oh, God, we have a lot. I think I'm going to go with the fighter option. Take your best shot. You'll only get one. Oh, yeah. Well, we're... We're... I ain't fighting him. Not a chance. We're, uh... We're leaving. Come on, move it! Well, I just scared off, like, six adults. I guess it was only four. Alright, lost my guidance. I do like that overlay. Whenever you lose the abilities, it like pops over your character's uh, head and then crosses it out. That's awesome. Seems simple enough. Hello? Everything alright out there? Uh Gimbach trigger or triggered a trap. He needs help now. Guidance me. Fuck. Maybe let us in anyway? Yeah. And who are you? Probably your trap that did him in. Come through that door and you're getting a knife in the guts. I'll kill you. Damn it. Does anyone have a uh, lockpick? A Fuck. What do you have? Just camp supplies. Fuck. I should have taken Astoran. Astorian, whatever his name was. Progress. Can I break the door down? Cannot. Alright, well, going back this way now. I have an idea. It's probably not a very good one, though. And bye. Can I enter? Do I have to jump?
Uh, down I go. We ah. Oh, are we already in combat? Okay, great. Oh, sure are. Oh, and Gale hasn't even jumped down here yet. That's fine. You know what? That's just swell, actually. Shadowheart, do you have anything AoE oriented? God damn it, they all get to go before us, actually. Fuck! Well, hmm. Killing one of these guys would be beneficial. Let's try killing the magic cast before they can even get something off. Good. All right, we'll put her over there. Oh, we are fighting all of them. This could be bad. Good miss. Barbarian. Oh, he's choosing to dash? Ow! Well, it's okay. I don't really need to move right now. What is this? Action surge? Okay. That was 65% chance. Go for it. Good hit. We're gonna action surge. Oh, they got rid of the stupid little animation where your character would go like, Hah! every time they did the action surge. Oh, that's it for me. Ah! Really? Can't have me. Wow, okay. Way to go, Gale. Uh, please hit him. Good move. Action surge, and we'll go ahead and hit the archer. Alright, she's still alive, but she shouldn't be able to do much. Why should I help him? Is he dead? He's not dead, is he? Now he's dead. Okay. Uh, he's level two. Hmm. I could waste another spell slot. I think I'm going to. Good kill. And now these two. We're just going to put Shadowheart right up in their grill. Attack opportunity? Okay. Uh, I guess it's up to me to help the fool. All right. Get up, you idiot. Uh, did that guy go in here, or is he... Where is he? He's over there. All right. I think it'll be fine if I stay right there. Okay, Gale can't do anything because he's so hurt. Love that. Step by step. Hopefully she finishes her off. Didn't though. I mean, I'm gonna end up taking a short rest at the very least after this fight anyway. Bop! Missed. Wow, Shadowheart is fucking wily, evidently. Wish you could see her ace here on the screen. Okay. Who is it? Shadowheart, okay. I guess she can just go over and hit. Oh, he's dazed at least. Would that have done more damage? No, it does the same amount of damage, okay. Asshole! Okay, well that hurt everyone involved. You dumb fuck. Hurt him. Damn it. All right, we'll go ahead and do this because I want my health back. Perfect. I speak. They burn. Uh, how much does this do each? Three D four plus three. Dealing two to five force damage, okay. So we'll put him right here. These can't miss, so one, two for her. One for him. He's still alive! Got did minimum damage. 
Okay. Die, please. Thank you. All right. Don't shoot at the barrel. All right, let's move her over here. A little help, please. Okay. Fuck you, maybe? Good. All right, Shadow Heart's down. All right, let's see here. I don't really want to enter the fire again. I guess I could, though. It wouldn't hurt too bad. Go for it. Help her up. Yep, just smack her on the ass. That'll wake her up. All right, well, that was miserable. How do I long rest or rest at all? Oh, right over here. Just a brief respite. Rested enough. Okay. Now. So Shadowheart has no more spell slots. You have my attention. Gale's got two. Me and her are completely up in fighting shape again. All right. Well, we won the first engagement. Good. It wasn't ideal, considering the fact that uh, we had to jump in through the roof and everyone attacked us on the very first turn. Basic poison, why not? Take that. Uh, Bandit's key sounds good right about now. We got a lot of armor on them. Equip. Equip. Oh, Javelin's great. Oh, there's the thieves' tools I wanted. Another throwing dagger. All right. Breathe deep and move. Where the fuck are we? Oh, this is the uh, entrance. Okay. That means there should be food right over here. I need more pockets. Oh, it doesn't tell me what they are. Or like what uh, benefits they give. They should have camp supplies. I didn't mean to open that 27 times. Yeah, okay, five. Oh, they're a lot less than what they used to be. Okay. Oh, what's everyone's AC? Really, Shadow Heart's only at 16, eh? Huh. So me and Lizelle are uh, up there. Her armor is better than mine, though. But I have more dexterity. Okay, well, let's go. Are there more people through this door now? Oh. This might be a bit different. And yeah, normally you fight in this room. Please. Is yep. Okay, there it is. I was wondering if the perception check was still going to be back here. That's our way to further conflict or conflict. I am feeling tired. I'm like winded. All right, what's this room? Well, let me read this real quick. Coat your active weapon with poison. Target must succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Okay. That actually could be useful if I have a bonus action to spare. This place wasn't built for the living. Damn it. Damn it. No damage because it has medium toughness. What is medium toughness? Examine. Only a hit that deals at least 22 damage can damage it. Well, you see how there's a problem here. Oh, can I unlock it though, maybe? I mean, I got 14 decks. Give me guidance. Three to six. All right, we got it. All 
Continue. All right, here we are. Armed scribes. No sign of a struggle. Is there a chest back there? It is. Let's go get that real quick. Before I'm inevitably just bum so rushed and fucked. About their words that they commanded protection. Oh. Can I rob these corpses? I can. Oh, mine. All right, I know these guys are going to get up. I wonder if you take their weapons, if they'll just be, like, forced to punch, which would be hilarious. All right, let's just fucking trigger the event. That's Jurgle, the scribe of the Jurgle? Dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. All right, shout out to Jurgle. Button. Oh, something just woke up down here. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Something just woke up down here. Hey, I said that first. All right, I'll go right here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Oh wow, they are hardy. Oh my God, they're level three. Javelin, please. Oh, I hit him at least. All right, this could be bad. I am fury. I am death. My path be true. Okay, here. Forty-five percent chance. Well, we're not running up on him. Oh, good crit. Only did six damage, but good crit. All right, what do we need here? Firebolt. Also, let's move all this shit over. Yep, the ice blast. Move that down there. Oh, ice knife, that's right. I forgot he had that. Yep. Oh, hey, I scored a drop on my own channel. Nice. Claim. <laughs> all right, well... No, 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 do not use that. I'm gonna move you. Oh, we do have sleep, though. Sleep could probably actually work on that guy. Yeah, it absolutely could right now. Hmm. What's the percentage on this? What's the 100? I don't know what I'm looking at here. It's not gonna have a full effect, though, because they're not, like, grouped up. I'm thinking maybe we just do this. Hmm. This would have an uh, or a possibility of actually outright killing that guy, though. It's weird, like how the circle is like changing as I'm moving around. I don't understand it fully yet. Kill him. Well, we hurt him. Hey, he's dashing good. He won't get an attack off the stern. All right, silence isn't bad. We can always move out of it. Shadow heart. Hey, you want to move out of the silence? Got to move. Man, that was difficult to leave. Anyway, fuck you. <laughs> oh, loser. Oh, silence again, eh? That's fine. It's not like we can't move. Nice miss, jackass. All right, my turn. And Kia! Missed. All right, time to action surge. Round two, bitch! Ha! Start to my way. All right, we'll just start getting up on this grill. Oh, could she hear him? No. Oh, there's two over here. Huh. They're both magic casters, though. Let's try just sprinting. No time to waste. As close as you can get, please. Oh, action surge. That works. Die! Well. 
Maybe this will kill him? Oh, it actually... Oh, it knocked him prone. Never mind. Yeah, he's knocked out. Alright. Oh, how much... Hmm. I think we're fine. Oh, I have to get him past the sphere or something? Die. Okay. Wait, that might be out of sight. Put guiding bolt over here. God damn me. Sacred flame down there. Guiding bolt up there. 65 or... I, I guess I can't fucking see him? I'll use this then. Die. Didn't work. Show me your move, spaceman. Nice miss, jackass. Ow. Can I chase him down now? Oh, I was frosted, wasn't I? Great. Very well. Okay, put me up there. Another throwing weapon. Let's use a tomahawk. Go, missile! Nice. And... Hmm, she can't really do much, can she? Maybe we'll be able to snipe him? Oh, we hit him at least. I think we're probably gonna take a long rest here soon, so we might as well just bomb him. Fuck you! They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. Bobble. Alright, hopefully we don't get into another fight. Path lies before me. A long of effort. I like the covered in blood effect. Hey, Mr. Bones, you gonna take me on a wild ride? Wish I could levitate. And there are the feet. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Uh... So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Oh, welcome back, Claire. No worries. Appreciate you stopping by again. Uh, what is the worth of a single mortal's life? Depends on the mortal. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Mm. Very well. Mm. I am satisfied. Thought he was going to ask another question. Or I, I'd have to respond. Met, and I know thy face. Okay. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Later, my man. And there he goes, just fucking shambling away. Withers. Oh, dude, the wither. We fucking found him. I didn't even put down three uh, wither skeleton heads. Wither skulls, there we go. Amulet of lost voices, speak with dead. Level three necromancy spell. All right, I'll take it. Green sage? Huh, I'll take it. Well, I guess I'll wear the necklace. There we go. I can speak with dead people now. Maybe I can finally talk to my dog again. That'd be great. Who the fuck? What are you doing, Withers? What? Withers? 
He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Let's Pulling the lever. Oh, we still haven't found a better weapon or anything. We're just kind of rocking this, uh, what is it, a longsword? Yeah, a longsword. All right, we'll get right here. Then we'll take our first uh, long rest. You need a shovel in order to access that dirt mound, or at least you used to. Oh, you can just go to camp? What if I just hit long rest? Is this going to... Yes, it should take me to camp, right? You couldn't just go to camp in the past. Alright, we're here. Good. Alright, there's Gale. He oh, right, we have camp clothes now. We take off our armor and shit. Huh. Who's green? Oh, okay, she wants me to speak to her. Oh, and everyone has their own tent. That's neat. A monster forms inside us, and you think to be idle. You are wearing a leather bikini. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. We need to pace ourselves. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? We're hardly going to turn into sleep, are we? We're scratching notion. Yeah, whatever. A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Likewise, champ. Alright, can I, like, change my clothes? Change into leather armor, I guess. Oh, these are the camp clothes. Homely clothes, perfect for ambling around a campsite, enjoying the starlight and good conversation. And tasteful boots. Those are loafers, my man. Those are not boots at all. What, do you want to talk now? Your gift friend seems on edge. Mustn't relish the thought of sprouting tentacles. Does, does anyone? Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when... All of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Give it a try, we'll need to be fresh tomorrow. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this, you sleep. I'll keep watch. All right, everyone's keeping watch right now. We'll both stay up. I'm already turn my back on a stranger. Thank you. I'll sleep better for that. It'll be nice. A sweet dreams. He's gonna slit my fucking throat. Uh, where's Shadowheart at? Is this her tent? Or is that Gale's? Oh wait, Shadowheart. Oh, she's way the fuck over there. All right. Let's talk to Gale. Go to hell. All right. Typical response to me. And good evening to you, too. Ha. <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. What's on your mind, Gail? Devils. Dragons. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. 
That's not abstract. I'm not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. All right, good talk. And Shadowheart, please. Then we'll go talk to Withers. Oh, it's her attire. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. I intend to. What were you two talking about? Which ones? If that's any of your business, we'd have called you over. Uh, what do you mean? You and that Gith Yankee. No, you've lost me. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, we were just, or just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. Uh, I wasn't confiding in anyone. I was just talking. So am I. If we're to survive, we need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. I agree. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Okay. Oh, is that my chest? Okay. Let's go see Skittles down here. What's up, my man? Oh, he only has one health. We meet again. As predicted. Well, yeah, it looks like you're following me, my man. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Uh, what kind of services can a skeleton offer, though? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Uh, that's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Oh, you can spend 100 gold to change your class. Helpful. No one's in on my side at the moment, though. Indeed. Farewell. So that's the respec guy. Okay. That's his purpose. Crazy that you could just like walk past him though. It's an optional area. Yep, let's get to napping. I want to sleep the pain away. Auto select, please. The addition of everyone having sleep clothes is kind of nice. Oh, I can talk to people in the day. Why is he still green? I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Uh, tell me about yourself? There's lots to tell. I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. All right, bye. <laughs> I don't know why he's... Oh, he's appearing green because he's not active in the party right now. Gotcha. Right, I think I just have to click on the... What do I do? Oh, leave camp. Gotcha. Let's go. So, Gith. Aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky. And my king... What is this loading screen for? There we go. Servants. They will help you, but only if... Like, I can still hear them talking. Like, why? Well, the map looks completely different. Oh, we gotta go up this way. What's really going to throw me off is when they change a combat scenario, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, wait, there's the gate. Okay. Yep, let's go. We should check it out, but be careful. I'm always careful. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! 
Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlo, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! <clears throat> They're so small, I can't take them seriously. Oh, wow, twice, eh? No! Why'd you catch it? You should've just slid under, idiots. Forms a line and then immediately breaks the line. Roach. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. I'll bleed every last one of you. Oh, guys, already baned. Oh, at least he got a hit. Blow the war horn! Oh, everyone's been rallied, nice. Gaping wound. Will sucks. Apparently they completely reworked Will in this. So maybe he's not as terrible. Alright, Lizelle gets first go. Hmm, she can't reach all the way up there though. Fuck. Uh, can she get on top of this? Nope. All right. Well, we're going here. And can we reach down there? Yeah, hit this idiot. High ground. Go. Wow. All right. I mean, it was 75% chance. Not like it was 95 this time. So the high ground is a thing in this game. I think it just does increase damage, though. It's not like a higher chance to hit. Fuck him up! Oh, and a crit. Cool. Nice miss, champ. Nice double miss, champ. My turn! I'll fuck up the archers. Alright, well, I'll shove the archer off, then. Dickhead. Damn it. Alright, I've completely wasted my turn. Hold on, it's not over yet. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, Gil can be super useful here. Ooh. Ah. How big is the radius? It explodes and deals two to anyone nearby. It leaves a surface of ice. Hmm. Not enough movement. Damn it. And that's Thunder Wave, so that's not going to be useful here. We'll do two here to guarantee the kill on that fucker. And... One on the doggo. Perfect. Munch. Bicycle and sword. Strike them down. Oh, good healing. I mean, some damage would have been appreciated too, but the healing at least helped. Oh my god, they're missing literally everything. Please, guys. Oh no. Good critical miss. Oh, at least they gave it back to us. Alright, let's just have Lizelle sprint in there. We gotta take some of the heat off here. She's not even close enough to use her action surge, though. Okay, so that's that. Move her up. Guiding bolt on the boss sounds like a decent idea. Alright, fuck. Oh, my turn, you say? Alright. 
Position me right there, and then give him a good whacking. All right, she's dead. Don't waste a step. All right, and the next turn I can get involved in the main fight or sprint up to it at least. The ages shall be done. All right, Will can probably handle that one guy, right? Please, I beg of you. Wait, is that gonna hurt my allies as well? Well, only one way to find out. Ah, oh, he didn't take any damage, so that's good. End turn. Oh, come on, Will. Come on, Will, it's not dead yet, Will. Fuck. At least he has a lot of health. Eh. Ah, oh, damn it. This guy's not nailed a shot yet, I don't think. Oh, Hell's Rebuke. There you go. Hell yeah. Good moves. Alright, let's go kill the doggo. Oh, sh okay, it worked good. Thought I fucked up the uh, button input for a second. Die. Didn't work. Sacred Flames, 55. What would this do? Also 55. So the likelihood is that we'll die. Perfect. Ready to go, Shadowheart. Uh, she can move up now. The action economy is finally in our uh, favor. Move me up. Who's most hurt? Oh, I'll try taking on the boss. The music is epic. Yeah, it actually does have a really good soundtrack. Javelin, baby! Fuck you! Oh, I just harpooned him. Hell yeah. Call me Ishmael, bitch. Uh, we should be able to handle this guy without wasting another spell slot. Move him a little closer. There's no need to heal him. That person was not in any danger. Good crit. You still not made a shot, Zevlar? Okay, good. Die. Grand. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. I don't think we lost a person. Yeah, there we go. No one left behind. So let's see, that gives us an inspiration die. Now, did I get two inspiration dies because uh, we both did that, or... Huh. Oh, Gale's a sage. Gross. Where can I keep track of my inspiration? Hmm. There's no character sheets? No, it doesn't appear to be. All right. Oh, I can get my javelins back. That's good. Also, should my javelin be on the ground around here? It is. Super hard to see, but it is. All right. So, absolute bane on a melee hit, possibly inflict a one d four penalty to the target attacks roll saving throw. Okay. Oh. Does this uh? Does this affect the wearer as well? Because it used to in the early access. I mean, if it's not going to, I might as well just take it. It might actually be worth wearing now. Okay, we'll try that. All of my inventory versus everyone else's. That kind of doesn't make sense, though, because I am strong as hell. Where am I going? I don't really want to go back and loot those goblins. Oh, these ones over here, maybe. What's inside? Take that. I don't need the staff. Why is it stealing from this goblin right here? Why is that stealing, whereas everything else is not? Alchemic solution? What? 
I don't know how this works. I'm gonna take it, just because I am under the assumption I might be able to make a healing potion out of it. Can you equip items into your party members? Uh, yeah. Like, if I wanted to give, say, Shadowheart as my sword. Yeah. And now I have her mace. If I really wanted to be an asshole, I could actually take uh, Lizelle's clothes because her armor is better than mine. And that gives me 17 AC, whereas she has 15 now. But, uh, and for role-playing reasons, I'm not doing it. But yeah, you can fully customize your party. You can even, uh, respect your party. As in, like, you can change their classes. Like, I could turn Shadowheart from a cleric into a barbarian if I really wanted to. The game... The game's story will still treat her like a cleric. Like, she'll still be a part of a monastery or whatever the fuck clerics are a part of. But she'll play as a barbarian. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Clerics are still useful, though. I agree. I'm just saying as an example. Me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. Oh, God. Here we go. I failed my insight. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. More violence won't bring back those lost. Stop and think. It's a plus two to either. I prefer to be hot-blooded. Let's go for it. Nail it, please. Yes! Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. <sighs> More goblins could be on their way. And they most certainly are. Let's go talk to Zevlar. He did no damage in that last fight. Forgive that display. Aladdin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Borneus. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Uh, why are they forcing you out, though? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Hey, I am literally, word for word, one of those things that you just said you're not. Uh, is there no way to convince them to stop doing the ritual? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. All right. Later. All right, we come across our first merchant. Hey, little man, Aaron. Or Aran, however they want to pronounce in this game. This is about your precious A R R on. I care about our lives, our future. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. All right, what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Sounds good to me. Holy shit, you got a lot of bits and bobs you no longer need. Uh, anything worthwhile? 
You take less, or one less slashing damage? Okay. That'd be such a pain in the ass to keep track of in real life. No AC bonus from dexterity, eh? That sucks. Hmm. You don't really sell anything good. I'm just gonna end up pawning all this shit off to you. We don't even know these people. Uh, of course it does. Take the amethyst. You would choose take the onyx. Over us. I'm keeping my brain though. That's not what I said. Take the locket. Have leather gloves and the boots. Huh? I kind of want to hang on to the rapier in case I decide to respec into a class I'm more familiar with. Uh, both those are fine, I guess. Why does this not have any damage numbers? Or become poisoned. Oh, that's just to become poisoned. This does extra damage. Okay, take that then. I don't really like using scrolls either, so we'll get rid of these. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Alright, it just automatically puts money up there. Okay. That works for me. I will barter now. Thank you. Bye. Calm down. Sylvanas, guide Please. your path. Sure, that person. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or well, yell louder. That's fine, too. All right, let's see. Let's go for the persuasion. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Eh? Am I persuading you? I should, actually. Yes. Nice. I'm so charismatic with my bog standard charisma of 10. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Why is that guy so, Thank like, you, regal? The other two are wearing robes. Or, like, the other two are, like, wearing leather and just patchwork cloth. He's wearing robes. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face, but control. That's Dr. Will, begrudgingly. You're an idiot. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Just slit the child's back open. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. I read that as hey there can I have a sword. The whelp is hopeless. It's good advice, child. You'll do well to listen. I will go with that. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your the man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Diaboli? Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. 
Devils, oh, okay, who is she? Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. Cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. A devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood wars to Faerun? Hmm. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm looking for a cure to this infection. I suggest we partner up. Yeah, I think that's a good one to go with. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. All right. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. Now right, we got Will. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. All right, go to my camp and wait for me. So we'll That's probably end plan. up replacing Lizelle we'll with Will. There. Just because I am in curious about Will or Will's like plot line here. Oh, we're, we leveled up already. Already, eh? I'm here for it. Max level in the uh, early access was five, but the highest one I ever made to was four. Hell yeah. Do I get a fighting style already? Yeah, I get to choose my uh, class. So, Battle Master is probably what we're going to go with, but let's check out Champion. You approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. And the feature is, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. What do you mean by stack? What, it can stack with other things that reduce it? Alright. Maybe there's good crit fishing builds in this game. But we'll go with Battlemaster. It adds a little bit of variety to the uh, pretty simple playstyle of a fighter. Repost is good. Commander strike, spend an action and reaction. Wait, spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. Huh. Uh, disarming attack. Where's menacing attack? Menacing attack is always good. Oh, can I only have two? I get one more. See, I'm not really using a bow so much with this guy because he's strength based. So, trip attack is really just good with bows. Sweeping attack. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc to attack multiple enemies at once. Roll your superiority die for damage. What is the superiority die, though? Sweeping attack? I might go with that. You can uh, spend a superiority die to add it to the result to an attack roll. Uh, make it more, uh... So that's before or after I roll the die to see if I hit. Maneuvering attack. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1-8 damage. On a hit, which select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. It will not provoke attack of opportunity. Oh god, there's a lot of new ones here. Target receives disadvantage on attacking any other creature. So that's like a way to force actual tanking in this game. All right, you can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an additional 1 uh, d8 damage. Oh my god. Are these in the base game? You can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. What is menacing attack? Is menacing attack different? Possibly frighten the target. This one doesn't seem as good anymore. I mean, it still seems good, but not bad. Or, but there are a lot of other decent options. Hmm. Fainting attack seems pretty fucking strong. But it uses both my action and my bonus action. But do I use my bonus action that often whenever I'm not doing a action surge. Actually, action surge doesn't even cost a bonus action. 
Hmm. Advantage is pretty huge. Then if I ever took great weapon fighting, uh, it would help cancel it out. What's goading attack again? Maneuvering attack also seems pretty good. I mean, we'll keep menacing attack on there. I'm not sure if I'll use it, though. We'll roll it. And then Lizel, I think we just go the same route with her. There are maneuvers. Hmm, let's see here. Repost is always good. Maybe I should give her sweeping attack. We'll put sweeping attack on hers. I actually really like sweeping attack now that I'm thinking about it. I probably would have taken sweeping attack over menacing attack if I hadn't forgotten about it. We'll give her faint. Why are her toes just out there? People that made this game have a foot fetish, I swear. Although I guess the Gith Yankee actually uh, don't wear shoes because D&D is foot fetish base. What's up, kid? He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. I see. Anything else on your mind? Mm. He's still mm. staring right past you. Not just feet, my dude. Yeah, you're right. We were attacked by literal tentacle monsters, so. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. I just got Houdini'd. Okay, bye, kid. Silphy? Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Uh, what's your side of the business? What? Um, I'm the guard. So, don't steal anything. I'm watching you. What the fuck is going on right now? Hey, what's up, Mattis? Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Uh, oh, hey, slide a hand. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. All right, take the ring. Call it heads or tails. Uh, tails. Tails it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Oh, you're a swindler. Hold on, one coin toss doesn't prove anything. No thanks. I could, or can I see your other rose? Thanks for the free ring. Oh my god, you can steal from actual children. Holy shit. Return the ring and leave. Ah, uh, uh, fucking. Can I see your other wares? Got it. Sure. That's what I got. Well, I failed my perception? Okay. He's got a shovel. I mean, the kid looks like he could use some money. Let's sell him a brain in a jar. <laughs> Fucking have at it. We can buy dyes. And a starfish? Ring of infinite wishes. The extra is okay. Ring of resistance to ants. Ring of the Le Lycensis? Ring of being really invisible. Ring is missing its gem, or perhaps it's just very visible. <laughs> Alright, kid. Fucking... Have six gold, my man. Yeah, donate it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Nothing caught your... You suddenly oh. feel something moving against your back. Is turn. it the kid? Ooh. Oh, it's a chick? Ignore her theatrics? Okay. Alright. Relax. I don't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. 
Get out of my sight, observe. Observe her silently, maybe these are just crocodile tears. Ignore her theatrics and grab her. I'm not gonna grab the child. Uh, let's try and see if she's trying to rouse me. Now we win. Are you faking it? Could not tell it was a girl tiefling. She's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. Should have worn the ring of being really invisible. <laughs> lunge at her. What am I going to do? What the fuck am I going to do to the child if I lunged at her? I'm going to throw her off the fucking cliff? Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to steal anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Batis. I'm sorry. Aww. Hey, kiddo. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You could make it right by giving me a percentage of your take? Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Fine. I'm not so good at counting, but I think any percentage of zero is zero. Look. You caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. I want to punt this child. Oh, hey, the other guy's leveled up from us. Stopping a kid from stealing from me. That was a neat interaction. That wasn't in the early access. Or if it was, I never stopped to talk to the children, which is probably a good thing. All right, what are my prepared spells? Okay. Oh, we have level two spells now, eh? I don't need prayer of healing. Uh, blesses. I'll still keep bless on there. I will rarely use it, but I like having it. Spiritual weapon. Summon a floating special weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. Huh. I mean, I guess silence could be good, situationally. It's a level 2 spell, though. Enhance ability doesn't really work. I kind of want to try out spectral we or spiritual weapon. How long does it last? It's a bonus action. Does it have to be in melee range? I don't know anything about this one. Alright. I even gave the kid some gold because he was trying to do a hustle. Damn. Alright. So, choose spells you know from your list below. Spells require spell slots to cast unless feature states otherwise. Alright, so this is... Oh. Well, let's get the best spell in the game, or at least in early access, which was Shatter. Visible per... or all the shit... Mirror image. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three. So you get... Wow, you start off with nine extra AC? Fucking wizards, man. I may just take the, uh... The webbing. Slow people down. Because I don't need every damage dealing uh, spell in the game. Misty Step could be good, but it costs a level 2 spell slot, which is just a pain. Fuck, we're gonna take Web. Oh, prepared spells. I almost completely forgot about that. Don't need Witch Bolt. Let's go ahead and get... Okay, there it is. Those two. Except. <sighs> These things have stayed interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and do a save real quick, just because we've progressed the game quite a bit. Oh, the game's chopping. Hey, I'm looking for a healer. My daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. 
Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <sighs> nice noise. Dude, that nose is huge. I think I can kill it. How much hit or how many hit points does that? Only 19? Absolutely I could kill it. I might be able to kill it in one turn. What's up? Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. I thought you were gonna give me a chance. Nice ass shot, by the way. If it weren't for me to be overrun by goblins by now, I'll go where I please. Why? What's the special down here? I'm not looking for any trouble. Just let me buy, ignore them, and proceed. Let's go with the back. first one. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. All right. So remember that part when I said I wouldn't save Scum? I might be backtracking on it based on how this goes. Alright, we'll go ahead and do this again. This is something I would very much like to succeed in. I'll definitely waste my inspiration die if uh, we fuck it up. Hey, look, a snick. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief, poison, what's the girl's actual crime? Prisoner, she's just a child, do nothing. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. Uh, we'll go with the first option again. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. All right, here we go. Nature, don't druids cherish harmony. Well, we're not doing nature. Persuasion, release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. That's what we're going to go for. All right, difficulty class 12. Let's not fuck it up, guys. All right, perfect. Continue. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. I'll kill you. It hurts. What? Thank you, Korga. Master Holson. Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I'm gonna curb stomp your snake. What's up with Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Uh, how bad does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay, turn to other matters. Was this supposed to happen now? Oh. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Okay. Just forget you ever saw it. Alright, well, bye. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. 
Hi, Lizelle, you're just gonna stare at me? All right, fine. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Survived I mean, some like perils, 15 minutes. Overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable. He already power. loves me, all right. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. <laughs> Fucking wolf just back there. So, this conversation wasn't supposed to happen quite yet, but sure, that's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this... Gale, now is not the right time. Very different from the parasite we share, but... Just as deadly. Uh, okay, what kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item. And absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm gonna need details. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Let's go with that one. I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. All right. Where do you suggest we, or where do you suggest we find these artifacts you need? I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You've done fine without me so far. I'd be happy to help. Yeah, I'd be happy to help. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Prime for the moment the need arises. Uh, what I item? I can count on you. Is it my gauntlets I just picked up? Thanks, champ. Anyway, since you both just distracted me from this, let's go talk to the bitch I was about to murder a child. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? You look like Gwyneth Paltrow, so yeah, I think you're a monster. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. Yeah, but a viper only is only attacking threats. I took back the idol of Sylvanus. The child the is not a threat. Resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Uh. Zillivore believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. Hey, you don't know that. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Uh, then it seems I'd best talk to Zelifor. You will do more. Or Zevlar, sorry. Zelifor. This tale ends but one Too many way. fantasy fucking nouns. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Oh, shout out to the rats. Oh, they have names! Oladen, Ren, and Pinta. Did I just say slurs and like Elvish or something? How far along in our level are we? Okay, we did just level up, but I feel like we made it to level 3 so quick. Alright, so Nettie is the healer that we've been looking for. I see you. Just Aww, give me a cute moment. little bird. I'll wait patiently. 
This Medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Uh, healing. Looks like it came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? No, just this weird bullfrog one I found in the pond outside. Thought it'd be fun. It's wriggling in there. I don't like it. You know of them. Can you help me? I, uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We're gonna get we cured. To quick. This way. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. What? This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Oh, so you Tadpole stripped him naked. Out of his head soon after. The drown I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I'll do the best I can. I'm no master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? I can merge my mind with anyone who else is infected. Or anyone else who is infected, rather. Well. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Oh, you don't have to make me swear to swallow. I always do it. Anyway. Thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Yeah, sure, I'll off myself. Looking forward to it, actually. I hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, they both approve. Great. Thank Fucking you. emo bitches. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a Mind Flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of Mind Flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Well, I mean, sure. There's different normals for everyone. What do you mean should be changing? Well, uh, you must have learned something from your studying them. You must have learned something from studying them, sure. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you. 
have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Ah, oh, so the goblins are taking up encampment. Or encampment. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I'm all for it. Alright, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. Hmm, maybe I can ask All them. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. All right. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Where's the way out? Why is there poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. <sighs> Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Was that me speaking? Okay. That door is uh, not actually there. Okay, it's an illusion. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it in case things start to go very wrong. Sure. One second here. Where was it? Uh, wyvern. Oh, they changed how it looks. Okay. Interesting. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out of here. And then, unfortunately, I am having a lot of fun with this game. And I do want to keep going, but I'm just tired tonight. And we're at our three-hour mark. I think I'm going to stop here. Not a whole lot has changed from early access so far, but enough to keep it interesting. Uh, I'll save here. I'll end the stream, and this is where we'll pick up tomorrow. Uh, speaking of tomorrow, I think I'm actually going to stream an hour earlier than normal tomorrow. Uh, because I have something I need to do later in the evening, but I still want to get a full stream in. So, uh, probably around, what would it be, 5 o'clock my time then is the plan. Again, I'll be updating it in the Discord if there's any other changes or if I go back to the old schedule. But for now, we'll save here, and this is where I'll call it. I appreciate everyone for hanging out and sticking with me for a little bit. The first, like, half an hour of the stream was dedicated purely to character creation, so we didn't make it too far, but... I am looking forward to sinking my teeth into this game more so in the future. Alright. Ragtag group of adventures. Anyway. Thank you all, and take it easy. Oh, you rest well too, Claire. I appreciate you. Bye.